Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on Pandora Bounty. So this is a really cool plugin which allows you to set bounties on other players and obviously if that player gets killed, the person who killed them gets the reward. So if we do forward slash bounty, a very nice GUI will pop up. And there's three different things here. So first of all we have the list of bounties, let's click this to start. And this will show you all of the players that have a bounty on their head. So I have a $5,000 bounty on my head and my other account has a $7,500 um, bounty on his head. So we can click back and go to add a bounty and this will allow us to set a bounty on a player. We'll do that a bit later once I've killed him but the final thing is uh, my head and shows me whether I have a bounty or not. So I'm going to kill my opponent uh, and I will collect the bounty as well so um, my balance will have gone up. If I do bounty again, we can set another one on his head because he obviously doesn't have one anymore. And you can choose between obviously 100 and 10,000. So we're going to go with, uh, let's just go with 1,000. And it says a bounty has been placed on Kiyoshima V for $1,000, which is really cool. So we can do bounty list as well as look in the GUI to see the uh, bounties on players' heads, which is really nice. Um, there are a few more commands such as bounty reload if you change anything in the uh, config file there are three and you can do bounty name bounty name and then obviously an amount but um, we've already placed one on this head so let's just place another um, I'm not sure whether that will show up actually if we place more than one let's have a look um, so it just adds to the bounty on his head. That's kind of cool, I like that feature. So we're going to go into the config files now. So here we are in the Pandora bounty folder, and as you can see, um, there are three different things that we can edit. If we go into the config first, we can change the min and max bounty, the drop chance, the bounty fee, the bounty timer, which is cool, and the presets. So depending on what your server economy is like, you could set the minimum bounty to maybe $5 or the max to a million um, or something like that. You can then uh, add a broad broadcast on login and on placing the bounty, which is kind of cool. And then down here it just saves the uh, bounty list and the amount. If we go into the GUI, uh, you can edit various colors and names of uh, the stuff as well as the item and the law. Nothing too special in there, you can just edit it which is very cool. And the language is the final one, maybe you could translate it if your uh, server was in a different language. And you can change the currency to proper currency, e.g. the pound <laughs> or the euro. I don't think I have the euro on my keyboard, do I? Uh, no, I don't. But uh, you could change that to that if you wanted to. But um, yeah, that is the plugin. Uh, it's very, very cool. Really nice. I like bounty plugins. They're a lot of fun. So subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.